All right, let's redo the beginning really quick. I am Portuguese. And therefore, I was born with the unique ability to talk and shout at the same time. Okay, no, seriously, let's start over, okay. So I took my boyfriend to Portugal. Beers for the queers. <laughs> and if you were raised in public school like me, this is Portugal. So he had never left the country before. And I wanted to show him the Portugal that I had remembered. But I was very nervous to show him. Would it be the same? Was he gonna like the food? Would he hate it? Would he never want to explore another country again? But when we got there, I realized that Lisbon just isn't the same as it was 10 years ago. Yes, those narrow sidewalks are still scary, but we found out there was tourists everywhere, completely taken over. It's like Europe's best kept secret was gone, evaporated into thin air, and now fully exposed for everyone to see. Exploited by travel vloggers and influencers alike. And actually, <laughs> wait, this film, uh, this film isn't gonna help keep the secret, is it? <sighs> oh. How about I say some bad things? People smoke here like it's good for you. It's like David Lynch's wet dream. No, this wasn't the Portugal I wanted to show him. Okay, no, this is too negative. Optimistic. Let's do this again. Portugal. What a place. Affordable movie and popcorn prices. Old cobblestone streets. History around every corner. My family history is here. My grandfather worked there. My mother, my father, grandfathers, grandmothers all walked these streets and now I'm here with my boyfriend? This was weird. We even kissed in front of a church and didn't burst into flames. I do wonder if my grandfather would have liked him. I mean, how do you show someone who you are if the place you arrived at has changed? I wanted this place to feel the same. It didn't look different, but it felt different. I want it to never evolve and become like a painting behind glass that I could revisit. If only I could freeze this place in time. Like a secret place. If only this place was all mine. Like my own private Portugal. Or something out of 28 Days Later, or Vanilla Sky. Nobody around. Wouldn't that be nice? We could go anywhere without waiting in line, or having to deal with crowds. But Lisbon almost feels as popular as Paris. It's only a matter of time before Christopher Nolan uses this place as a backdrop for Inception 2 Lisboa Drift. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere now. So one day on the trip, that isolation became a reality. In order to get away from all this chaos, we left the busy cities and took a train all the way down to a beach town in the winter. A cold beach. But finally, there was nobody around. A ghost town. Silence. But in the silence, it got me wondering, after all this overthinking, what did he actually think about this place after all? Oh, I hated it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't ruin your first European experience. There's a lot of wine and... I don't know what you're talking about. This was a completely sober trip. So drinking was your favorite part. Did you, did you actually like it? It was an interesting adventure to go to another country that I've never been. And seeing everyone there living in the moment and not being on their phones, that's what really 
I don't know. What? Just trying to think. My favorite part was the beach, and we were able to go at a time in the new year where not a lot of people were there. And I just love listening to the waves crash upon the shore, and it was just very relaxing. I didn't have to think about anything else but that moment. I remember a day it was raining, and we hiked up a really high hill. By accident, we ended up at this beautiful scenic vantage point. And just like that, we looked up and this rainbow appeared, perfectly timed. I forgot about how nervous I was about showing him the perfect Portugal, and realized maybe it wasn't just about how much Portugal had changed, and thought that maybe it was me that also changed. I do think that sometimes places are alive, and if you keep reaching for the past, you will definitely miss the present. You'll miss those rainbows. I know that sounds corny or something that a hipster would embroider on a pillow, but it's true. I don't know, I guess Portugal can never be mine. That was a selfish, idealistic idea. But Portugal will always be ours. Just, please don't go there.